All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, out there. Sincerely do the work of the whole for elect. All right, my name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson. Low will to edify the elect of the nation of Israel. And I'm going to make this quick, you know, um, basically got a couple precepts. You know, clearly I'm not in New York anymore, as you brothers can see. You know, I'm, I'm actually out in South America, in Guyana, South America. And, um, you know, it's been pretty much, what, a day and a half, two days maybe. And one thing I've noticed is that um, first day, actually, you know, after a day, I noticed that, you know, the, the, how important the brotherhood is, man, you know, in a nutshell, because... You know, out here it's not it's not it's not that easy to get Wi-Fi. You know, it's not that easy for you know for you to just hop on YouTube and scroll through your your subscription list to to see what's going on. You know, in Israel, you know, to to get any type of information that's going on in the outside world. You know, so what I realized through the spirit is that um you know hey the brotherhood is important, man, and and it's easy you know to get sidetracked. You know. You know, outside outside this truth, once you're accustomed to being amongst the brothers, being amongst certain, you know, certain brethren, fellowshipping, and so on and so forth. Once you forsake that, even for a moment, it's easy to stay out, it's easy to fall out the loop. And if you're, if you're a sincere man, then it's very uncomfortable, all right? And, you know, I noticed that first day, you know, I've only been here for a day and a half, and it already seemed like a week. Cause I wasn't able to really keep in touch, you know, with the brothers. I hit them up last night, you know, the brothers, y'all you know, brothers know who you are. You know, communicated with the brothers, you know, after day one. But it seemed like a whole, a whole week already. There's only been one day, you know. But anyway, I'm going to um, get a couple precepts that, I, that you know, I got lined up. This is um, Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 4, verse, I start at um, 9. Um, actually... Let me start at 8. Now I started now, I get to the point. It says, two are better than one because they have a good work for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him. All right? And that's playing into the point, man. You know, scriptures say two is better than one. All right? Now, the scriptures also say that where two or three are gathered in my name, gathered in my name I am in the midst of them. Which is Yahweh by Shemi Asha, the Spirit of the Lord is in the midst of the brotherhood, you know, once once you're together and unified, man. Alright? And also the scriptures say two is better than one. Because if you fall, the one will be there to pick him up. So you got brothers around you, you know, around us to correct to correct us when we fall, when we go off. When we down in the spirit, we got the brotherhood to, you know, keep us in the spirit. Alright, now this message really, you know, so it's apply it applies to brothers that have the brotherhood amongst them. You know, because you have certain brothers out there that's alone, you know, that's through the spirit, they out there pushing the word by themselves, all right, you know, physically, but nevertheless, spiritually, and also, you know, you could telecommunicate with, with brothers, but for brothers that have the brotherhood among you, they, you, you, you know, you go around the corner, there's a brother, or you could hop on a bus, there's a brother, you know, if you got that, and then you forsaking the brotherhood, man, you in the wrong spirit, all right, you in the wrong spirit, because like I said, I've only been here for one day, a day and a half, and through the spirit, man, I, I miss the brotherhood like crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, felt like, it's felt like a week, but it's only been a day out here. You know? Um, so reading on, it says, For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe, woe to him that is alone when he falls. Why is that? Because who's who's there to correct you? You know? You got nothing but, you know, once once you forsake the brotherhood, you're not amongst the brotherhood. All you, all you got around you is a bunch of people in the world, niggas. You know what I'm saying? People, that's, people that have no understanding. Of what's going on, you know, in the spirit, you know, so they really, really, there's no type of communicating with a person like that, all right, but then the brotherhood, that's why we here, man, you know what I'm saying, and, and like I said, I realize this day, I mean, this things we've been know, but I actually feel it, and felt it day one, just being out of New York, all right, and through the spirit, you know, there's this, you know, a couple months ago, that I actually seen on YouTube, there's an actual camp set up out here in Guyana, you know, which I hit them, brother, them brothers up, you know, two months in the spirit, two months ago in the spirit, but I never got a response. You know, actually, they never uploaded another video from the last video that I replied on. But uh, I think it's GMS Guyana 144K, right? I never got a response, so I'm, I mean, I'm assuming either, you know, their Wi-Fi connection situation or whatever the case is might not be too well, but it's all in the spirit anyway, you know? But um, 
Let me get another scripture. You know, I was holding, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 9, verse 10. It says, Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. A new friend is as new wine. When it's old, thou shalt drink it with pleasure. Right? So the scriptures tell you, forsake not an old friend. And the friend is talking about a brother. Alright? The brotherhood that we've grown to know and is true, that's a friend. Alright? And that's what you're not you're not supposed to forsake, man. You know, scriptures say, it says, for new wine, excuse me, for an old friend is, forsake not an old friend, for new is not comparable to him. So your new friend is not going to be comparable to a brother that's been laboring with you, you know, side by side for the past however much years you, you brothers been in the truth or I've been in the truth, you know? Because we've bonded, we've grown in one body in Yahweh Shai, you know, and through the Spirit. And through the Spirit, you know, if we be of the elect, we've known each other for, for, for um, since the creation of time, okay? It says, a new, a new friend is as wine, new wine, when it is old, thou shalt not drink it with pleasure. All right, there's no pleasure in new wine. All right, it's not strong, it's not fermented, it's, it's, it's merely premature. All right, but old wine is enjoyable, okay? And that's that's like the brotherhood. Now, let me see, I got a couple more scriptures I was holding. Let me see. This is Sirach 7 and 18, it says, change not, an old fr change not a friend for any good by no means. Neither a, neither a brother for the gold or of offer. Okay? Now, <laughs> for no reason by any means necessary, you forsake a friend, a brother, you know, for whatever reason possible. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we're one body in Yahweh Shai and we're doing this for one purpose, which is salvation. And through the journey of this truth, we're gonna we're gonna encounter and we're gonna be amongst our brothers, man, from, from the brothers that that's been that's been setting things up from the creation, all right, the, the Alahayams. You know, we're doing the same thing all over again, you know, in the spirit, man. You know, building up this new world to come, so to speak, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing. You can't do that with anybody else in this world, man. All right? Now, what else would I, would I hold on? Um, let me see. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 10. Get that real quick. This is Proverbs 27 and 10. It says, let me see. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of calamity. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. Now that's that's plain and to the point. You know, better is a neighbor that is there than a brother that's far off. What good is a brother if he if he's distancing himself from you? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm only out here for, you know, some more days left, or so to speak, you know, to the following week. Alright, but you know, brothers that, that have the brothers among you, that are there with the brotherhood, you know? You can't how you how, you can't be far off from, from a brother, man. You know, physically, mentally, you know, spiritually, you know, you gotta be there, man. You gotta grow. In other words, stay in the loop. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you even you even got brothers out there, you know, in Israel, you know, in great in Great Millstone that don't know what's going on until Saturday come. You know, you they go to the camp and then they find out what's what's been going on throughout the week, mainly because they, they're not watching videos, two, they're not, you know, communicating, calling, texting, or even visiting, you know what I'm saying, so that's a brother that's a far off, and you don't want to be a brother that's a far off, man, and brothers, brothers that, that's actually out there pushing, pushing the word by themselves, you know, you brothers know what I'm talking about, man, you know what I'm saying, you brothers know exactly what I'm talking about, man, you know how much, that's why, you know, when you, when you see brothers come from, you know, different locations that's preacher by itself, and they get with the brothers, man, it's, it's a joyful feeling. And it's a joyful feeling to receive these brothers, man. All right? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I believe that was it. Uh, let me see what John, 1 John 4 and 20. That might be it right there. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. Yeah, it says here, um, 1 John 4 and 20, it says, if a man say, if a man say I love God and hate his brother, he's a liar, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the Most High whom he seeth not? 
And this commandment have have we from him that he who loveth the most high loveth his brother also. You know, so what's love? Love consists of many things. Charity, you know, the love for the brotherhood, you know, correcting a brother. Scripture say over rebuke is better than secret love. You know, just being amongst the brother, just showing that pure love, the same love that you would show you how if he was here. Because we say we love you, how shot is the love you gotta show for your brother, man. You know, feed him, clothe him, you know, be there. You know what I'm saying? We are we we are our best friends, man. You know, us, the brotherhood, man. And through the spirit, man, like I said, you know, just being on a plane, traveling, and then finally getting here, not being able to go on YouTube or text or call or whatever. You know, because I'm at, you know, I'm in the countryside of where I'm at right now. You know, I gotta go. You know, if I if I do or when I do, you know, Lord willing, I'm gonna go out there. You know, to the to the internet connection, wherever I can find that at, and just you know upload this video. You know, this video, Lord willing, will be uploaded by then. You know, but you know, Lord willing, man, I'm gonna come with some more videos to edify the elect, the brotherhood. You know, until next time, I want to say shalom to you, Akim out there. Lord willing, you brothers edified. Shalom.